I start off with some pieces of walnut, maple, and cherry. Note, my bandsaw blade should be lower, it's just I was very eager to start this process and I change it later on. Just note, if you're doing this, make your bandsaw blade about a quarter inch above your material. Once I finish cutting up the maple pieces, I move on to the cherry. Look at that walnut. I really love the green pattern in it from the heartwood to sapwood transition. Next thing I do is I cut the walnut down on the bandsaw to the preferred handles. After I'm cutting everything down on the bandsaw, I move on to gluing everything up. I'm using a tight bond dark glue just to hide the seams as well as I can. Note, you can do this with any type of gl wood glue, but I like the tight bond stuff. I think it gets the tightest bond. <laughs> Once everything's fully dry from gluing, I move it to the drill press and I drill holes with a Forstner bit for the pegs. Note, this drill press does not have a spring retention system, so I just brought it back up by hand. Then I move it to the bandsaw and cut the dowels, then sand all the dowels so then I can get a countersink effect so I can hammer everything in better and then I hammer in all the dowels making sure the green patterns going in the same direction throughout for some of these pieces I need a sp I needed a spacer block so then I could hammer everything so then it protruded on the other side the next thing I do after that is I sand everything down once everything's dry I'm just sanding down the shape of the handle so then it's a nice comfortable grip, but you can sand it down however you would like. Once all the handle curves are sanded, the next thing I do is sharpen the blade with the belt sander. I got it done with quick work of it since using the belt sander, it just gives such a um, quick process of, make, of sharpening these knives. Right here I'm rounding over all the corners so then it fits comfortably in my hand but again as I said before you can shape it however you would like. I start off with 80 grit sandpaper then I move to 150 because I don't have any 120 being sure to dull the blade a little. Then I move to 220. And making sure everything's soft, I get in all the grooves and all the crevices, I'm able to start finishing. Right here I'm using a mineral oil and beeswax blend. I used four coats of this stuff. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up if you liked it.